Hey guys, it's Penny at the Disco and today's vlog is going to be very special. So a while ago in one of my videos I briefly mentioned that I was working on an essay to submit to like a science journal in my university and I was not very confident about my essay at all because I never submitted like academic essay for like a an academic journal before but apparently it's going to be published today and I'm going to the launch event of um, this science journal and it's going to be really exciting so I thought I'll share the journey to you guys and show you like what happens in the event so we're gonna go to campus now <laughs> That was Cardiac Hill and we are very close to central campus now. <sighs> yeah, that's what I have to climb every single day in order to get to campus. So now I'm going to show you guys like the rest of the way to campus because it's also very pretty. <music> it's not like going to happen until like now is time um, but I told Liam and Peter who um, are basically the editors of the journal that I would come and help them out with like setting up the place so here I am on my way to Harrison which is the maths building I think so yeah the maths building to set things up and I'm not complaining at all because um, it's good exercise to walk about a bit and I always get so nervous that I turn up early anyway so yeah, so this is my article in large print how exciting So I hope you had a chance to take a look at the journal, chat to some of our fantastic authors. The project has been nine months in the making and we're absolutely delighted um, to share it with you tonight. So Undergraduate Science was designed originally to be the first undergraduate STEM journal uh, in Exeter that spans both class and camps and operates across all three campuses. Um, in doing so, this becomes an opportunity for undergraduate scientists to showcase their hard work and really get a foot in the door into academic publishing. It's a boring bit, all the thank yous. Um, we've received a lot of help throughout the project uh, and we couldn't have done it alone. So firstly, to Jake, sorry, you've just walked in the door. Um, <laughs> but firstly, thanks to Jake, uh, who stuck by us from our very first training session and has guided the project through. So thank you very much, Jake. Um, next to Harry Reid, the SABS and the wider Students Guild uh, academic representation team for your continued support uh, and enthusiasm in us, uh, including Cheeky VP Education Award, which was uh, very well. Uh, thank you. <laughs> um, but most of all, we'd like to thank Ben and Frankie, just over there, um, for all your help, guidance, and support throughout the year. You made the whole process go so smoothly, uh, from helping us shape our first ideas to putting on this event and buying you more wine. Uh, we could have done it without you. <laughs> Um, so also, we'd like to say thank you to the Students Change Agents uh, program over here uh, for hosting its launch and providing funding for the project uh, that was just as much as possible. Uh, special mention again to the vast sponsors of wine and see you all enjoying that, so that's great. Mm -hmm. uh, um. Um, thank you also to our team of postgraduate peer reviewers. Um, so every submission went through a peer review process to ensure its academic integrity um, and they selflessly provided great quality feedback from all the articles. We hope, you've enjoyed, uh, we hope you've enjoyed seeing what the undergraduates at Exeter have to offer and gained valuable reviewing experience that you can take on to your future academic careers. Most of all though, thank you to everyone who submitted. Um, regardless of whether or not your work made it into the final journal, you guys are the real start of this process. And I think it's safe to say that the University of Exeter produces top quality research, not only at um, postgraduate level, but 
the undergo journal mm. as well. And I hope that this journal uh, demonstrates this fact. Okay, just just say hi. Just say hi. Come on, hi. <laughs> Casper. Casper, you have to say hi as well. Hi. Yeah. Hi. So, recap, I had a certificate and now I'm enjoying my drink. And so it's Casper. Yeah. And this is Aisha, yeah, my new friend. Hi, so this is Leah. Hi, Penny's vlog. Oh, Peter, <laughs> Peter, you want to say hi? Okay, yeah, right. Yeah. Hello. Is, it, is this a video? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a video. It's going on Penny's vlog. Oh. Yes. Yeah, hello, hello. 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 Oh, okay. Hello, Penny's followers. Um, I don't know what to say now. <laughs> <laughs> you better be kissing Are you happy about this event? Too? I'm so happy, and I'm so happy to hand over to such a wonderful Claire's editor next year. You yeah, guys and this, be, this is yeah. the other one. Is that you, Brian? Yeah, I mean, yeah, Casper. Yeah, so, anything else? Read undergraduate science, it's great. You really should. Yeah. And submit next year. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, so that was the launch event of the science journal in my university. And I actually got back a while ago, but obviously I had to make dinner and other adult kind of thing. Um, but here I am. So I thought I might tell you guys a little bit more about um, this journal because like it wasn't really clear enough in the launch event, the vloggy bit of the launch event. So basically I wrote a literature review on psychological benefits of picking up new hobbies. I almost made a YouTube video about that topic but then on the day that I was gonna film that video I watched this different video by a different YouTuber about how he became a researcher in um, that video. I'm gonna link it down in the description below. Um, inspired me to do some more research into the topic that I was interested in which is the psychological benefits of hobbies um, so like instead of making like a shallow light-hearted video I wanted to do some more research into that topic and read more literature like previous research about it so I did that and it just happened that the science journal in my university was calling for submission so I submitted it and it got published and it made me really happy and really proud of myself because obviously getting your article published in like an academic journal is a big thing in science and I feel like an actual scientist now although like I'm far far away from becoming like professional proper psychologist but I feel like I'm closer to that goal now so yeah I hope this video is enjoyable and I hope it inspire you to do similar things if your university happens to have a science journal then go for it submit if you go to Exeter do submit to this undergraduate science journal because next year I'm going to be one of the editors as well and it's going to be really exciting opportunity for me and it's going to be an exciting opportunity for you as well if you submit because it might spark your interest in academia and researching and make you fall in love with your subject again if you like this video obviously give it a big thumbs up and click somewhere on the screen to subscribe to my channel and I'm going to link everything that I mentioned in this video into the description box. Yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!